who already got started and needs some more tips on how to get more sales and more profit and how to succeed with your e-commerce dropshipping business. So I'm here for you guys. This is all for you. So start writing your questions in the chat right now. And in this live QA, I want to talk to you guys about Christmas. For those of you who don't know, it's right around the corner. We're nearing the end of November. And for those of you who don't know, Christmas is right around the corner. And it should be, if I'm not mistaken, on the 25th, I'm not mistaken. So we've got Christmas in less than one month. And if you guys don't know what it's like in the e-commerce field, you have to get your stores ready in advance. So this means that if you guys haven't gotten started yet, if you haven't started preparing your stores for Christmas, this webinar or this live QA is for you. So stay tuned. We're going to get started in just a minute. Right now, start writing your questions in the chat. And guys, just one small uh, request from me to you. If you're having any problems with the AutoDS system, any bugs that you're encountering, things that you need to get fixed, please open up a support ticket. This live is not for support with the AutoDS system, but it's actually to help you guys out with your dropshipping journey. For everything, there's a specific channel, a specific department to help you guys out. So let's go ahead and begin. So how are you guys? Let me know in the comments what's going on, how you're feeling today, and what you want to know about your dropshipping journey. I'm going to start off this live by the time you guys are asking your questions during that time. I'm going to start off showing you guys what are the best products to sell this Christmas. Okay, so let's start the live with that. So I'm going to share my screen. And as you can see here, we have an article on the top 10 trending products to dropship in 2021. So let's get on with the show. What are the best products? And if you guys don't know, I'm in the AutoDS. Let me just log out of WordPress to make it more visually enhanced for you guys. Okay, so I logged out. Let me just refresh this page and get rid of that top banner. There we go. So the top 10 trending Christmas products to dropship in 2021. We are using the information that we are gathering on our database. We are also seeing what's working well with our suppliers, with our dropshippers. We know what products are selling and we are sharing this information with you so that you won't continue some copy and pasting game, but you will use these product ideas to get more products from that same niche and more sales from these specific categories by adding more products that are similar to these ones that are selling. So let's begin with the list. For those of you who don't know, I'm in the AutoDS blog page. So just head over to autods.com slash blog. And that is where you're going to see all of these uh, articles. And as you can see here, we also have videos embedded inside the articles. So if you're the type who likes to watch, just click on play and watch Nilly's recording on the top 10 Christmas products. She is our social media manager. And if you're the type who likes to read, well, that's what you have this blog article for. Here on the left side, you also have post content. So you can just click on any part to get to it really, really quick. But I'm going to start from the beginning of this article. So what are the top 10 Christmas products to dropship? For now, guys, I see that you're already starting to ask questions in the chat. Continue asking questions. I'm going to address you guys very soon. And if you guys know me from my previous lives, I answer each and every one of your guys' questions. So let's go ahead and begin. What are the top products that sell in Christmas? Number one, and this one should be an obvious one, Christmas trees, right? Who doesn't buy Christmas trees for Christmas? Every household uh, or every Christian household, every American household needs to have Christmas trees in their houses. And most of them don't even buy one tree. Some buy a tree for the living room, some for the dining, some for the uh, bedroom, some for the kids' bedrooms. There's all kinds of variations of Christmas trees, some that come with props, some that come without. There is always something for you guys to sell. And to make it easier, I don't know which suppliers you guys are dropshipping from, but if you're using AutoDS, then you know that you have about 25 suppliers that you guys can grab these products from really, really quick. But no matter what you're working with, all you need to do is head in, head over to your supplier's website and search for it. So in this example, I'll head over to Amazon, and this is how you can do product research inside your supplier's websites. So here on Amazon, I'm going to search for Christmas trees. Now, how do I know exactly which one to sell? Because now I'm probably going to get thousands 
of results. Here we go, over 10,000 results. So how do I know exactly which Christmas tree is going to sell well for me? Guys, I see once again your questions in the chat. Keep asking questions. I will get to it really, really soon, and I will not skip any one of you guys' questions, okay? So start asking them now. And this is how we're going to do, uh, this is how we're going to conduct product research inside our suppliers' uh, websites. So here, for example, I've got Amazon. Let's go, for example, for this tree over here. I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to see exactly who the seller is. Does he know what he's doing? Is he a new seller? Is he just trying out the platform? Or is he a seller that already has a good reputation he knows what he's selling. And then all we have to do is optimize the product's title and the product's description and import it to our selling channel, whether it's eBay, whether it's Shopify, or even on the Facebook marketplace. And better yet on the Facebook marketplace, guys, if, if you live in the US and you haven't started yet, I highly recommend you guys right now to start dropshipping on the Facebook marketplace. Just list items. There is no competition there. And it's actually really, really easy. Okay, so let's begin. What are you going to do once you go inside a listing to know if it's one that has good potential or not? So here you can see that it's sold by DreamMade US, but it's also ships from that. So it's a third party seller. It's not a prime product. So if, for example, you're drop shipping from Amazon, you want to go with prime products. And I don't know if you guys are drop, sh drop shipping from Amazon or if you think you have problems with it, because for example, you know that Amazon doesn't allow drop shipping on their platform. They really won't mind as, as long as you know what you are doing and you are being clear uh, with your business actions. And if you're drop shipping using Fulfilled by AutoDS, then you really don't have to care about any of that because nobody is going to use your own buyer accounts. You don't even have to have one. So uh, everything will be managed for you automatically and it simply makes everything much, much easier. Okay, so let's go back to what we wanted. So I clicked on um, free shipping by Amazon. I wanna see only products that are prime. Okay, so let's begin. I'm going to click inside one of these listings. Uh, let's go with this one, National Tree Company. This looks like a company that knows what they are doing. So I can click here to visit the National Tree Company store, but you can already tell this guy has 1,320 ratings and he's got four and a half out of five stars. You're pretty much gonna do a good job if you're going to list this seller's product. Just make sure to list all of the variations that you see here. You can list it in one product and have them as variations or go with my strategy, list each variation as its own standalone product, and then each one will have its own images, each one will have its own description, and each one will be optimized and enhanced in its own way. And if a buyer is, for example, looking for a for the nine foot variation, and he can't tell from your 7.5 foot variation if you even have the nine foot inside there, he may not even know, and then he won't even click on your listing. But if it was a standalone product and in the title, you would see that it's a nine foot Christmas tree and that's what he was looking for. That's what he typed when he searched for it on eBay or Facebook or Shopify. That's how he's going to get to your store. So how do we know that the seller is doing a good job? First of all, of course, look at the ratings. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, wait, if he's got 1,320 ratings, that means that he's probably ha he probably has enough dropshippers that are reselling his product and they're doing a pretty good job at it. That may be correct, but it does not matter for you because you can sell it on a different marketplace. You don't have to sell it on the US marketplace. You can also sell it on the UK marketplace. You can sell it in the Canadian marketplace. You can sell it in the Australian marketplace. There are so many marketplaces with so, such high potential that you guys can drop ship on. So don't worry about product saturation. You can, you can target different markets, like I said. You can optimize and enhance your product listings, which is something that everyone needs to do. And that's it. That will differentiate you from your competition. And that's how you can make sales on products that you think are saturated. And for those of you who have been drop shipping for a while, you guys know exactly what I mean. Okay, so the first product is Christmas trees. Let's go on. The second product for this Christmas, guys, once again, it's an obvious one. And look, I'm feeling a little bit festive today. I've, I've even got some lights on me, right? So Christmas lights is the second product. And Christmas lights, I mean, this is yellow and Christmas lights are red and, and green, but I couldn't get my uh, hands on it for this live. I would even dress as, as Santa Claus for you guys, but I don't have the outfit. So Christmas lights, number two on the list. Just look for different variations and you don't have to, of course, use the same supplier, but I'm just going to do it because it's uh, more practical for the live. So here I'm going to search for Christmas lights. And once again, you're going to ask yourself, wait, but 
we, we saw that there's thousands of items. So once again, how are we going to know which to choose? Even if some have um, uh, high, high ratings, you're going to find thousands with high ratings. So which ones are you going to add and how much are you going to add? So what I would suggest, suggest in this case is to look for different variations. If one product looks like the other, like for example, take a look at this one. We're seeing this, this, this roll, right? And half of it has yellow lights and the other half has uh, Christmas lights, Christmas colored lights. And then this listing looks pretty much the same. This one costs $46 and this one costs $25. This one's got 3,600 reviews. This one's got only 15. So which would you choose? Of course, the obvious choice would be this one. It's cheaper. It also has the remote control. Maybe there's uh, less LED lights. Yeah, it does. This one has 200 LED lights and this one has 400. This one's 130 feet long. But mainly, people are going to go for the cheaper product. People, I mean, they will spend a lot of money this Christmas. Uh, online shoppers spend a crazy amount of money every Christmas. And if you guys do want a bite of the action, this is what you need to do. But in this case, I would go for the $25 listing and I would make sure to not have another product that looks the same because you want to test out different products. So that's one that I would choose. And then I would go for these lights also that decorate complete whole houses like this one, 400 LED lights, $37. So I would also go for that one. That one is also specifically blue. So you'll have a listing only for blue. Then you can also try out solar Christmas lights like this one. Just make sure that your listings differ from the other and that you are choosing products that have been proven to sell well. The third Christmas product that you guys need to sell are Christmas ornaments. This is the, these are the props that you put on, on trees um, inside uh, the Christmas socks and not just. So Christmas ornaments, same strategy as I showed you with the Christmas lights. The fourth product, wait, let's go, let, let's, let's micro niche those uh, ornaments. So you've got ball ornaments. You've got gnome ornaments like you see here. And number four on the list is Christmas embroidery kits, which is what you're seeing here. Pretty self-explanatory. Just copy it from our blog page, search for it on your suppliers page, go for the best sellers, go for listings that differ from one another to always test out different variations. And of course, guys, once you sell something, let's say you listed all of these products that we have on the store. Okay, let me just... Uh, yeah, the extension is on. So let's say you wanted to add all of these products to your store, okay? And you want to test the market and see what works. What you would do is once a product starts to sell, okay, from all of these ornaments, like let's say you listed all of these and this one sold, okay? This one with Emily, mom, dad, uh, and all of these names, okay? So if that product sold for you, then you can see here that something is working. So go to that product that sold and see what's special about it. And then look for more products that are similar to that one that's sold for you. That's always going to help you out so much into multiplying your success. The next Christmas product that you guys need to add for your, to your stores are Christmas inflatables. This is one of my personal favorites. Why? Because it's a medium to high ticket product. And if you sell one, you're going to make some great profit from it. And speaking about profit margin, guys, I hope that you're all making no less than 20, 30% is good, 40% is great. That should be your profit margin for dropshipping. Anything below that will get eaten up in your fees and your subscriptions, and you won't be withdrawing so much money to your bank. Unless you have hundreds of orders per day, then you can definitely uh, uh, see the profits from there too. But you should definitely test out profit margins. If you're selling products and you're wondering why you're not withdrawing enough money to your bank, that should be a good reason for you to up your profit margins, give that two weeks, one month of testing, and see that even if you made less sales, you profited more and you dealt with fewer customer service because you don't you didn't make as much sales. Imagine making uh, only 10% profit in sales, having so much sales every day, small profit, lots of customers to attend to and to give answers to. That's not going to make your job easy and you won't see so much profit. So test that out and see that it will work for you. So Christmas inflatables, let's check this one out. I didn't copy it. This one is easily going to come with so many different variations. One listing is probably not going to be like the next because each one is custom made with custom dimensions. And as you can see here, we have got many Christmas uh, inflatables 
they're all air blown and people simply buy a lot of this product you can just get a small indication by the amount of reviews that we're seeing here so 320 here and we've got 747 uh, reviews for this one we've got a thousand one hundred and fifty for this five foot hot dog christmas inflatable and the list just goes on and on inflatables are one of the most popular products for christmas start adding them to your stores number six on the list are christmas tree toppers this is um not it's it's kind of like um what was it the other props that we had uh the ornaments but this is for putting on top of your tree a tree topper right it's self-explanatory but it's another very trendy product that we saw that's selling well once again you can just get a small indication from the amount of reviews but if you guys just take a look at this and see all of the different variations that you have for tree toppers uh and that simply many people are buying this product um i don't have much more to say about it guys whatever is in demand and it's in demand right now start selling it that's one of the best things about the drop shipping business model right you guys don't have to care about how many products you have in your store because you are not paying for inventory so we've got some micro niches for the tree toppers we've got star tree chopper uh, tree toppers angel christmas tree toppers and the seventh product on our list are christmas stockings so i just spoke about that a few minutes ago but that's another product that sells really really well try out its different variations two packs three packs four packs see what starts to sell add more like them multiply your success i'm going to get to your questions really soon guys number eight on the list Christmas wreaths, just like you see right here. Put them on your doors, hang them on the wall. This is a great product that sells for Christmas. Number nine, Christmas gift wrapping paper. Everybody's buying gifts. Not many people, not many sellers, not many dropshippers are thinking about wrapping paper. So that's another great seller. And definitely add that to your stores, guys. Last one on the list, flameless candle sets. This doesn't have Christmas printed over it, but the amount of sales that we're getting on this product during Christmas time, right before Christmas, is absolutely crazy. So add flameless candle sets and see how they sell on your stores. That pretty much sums up the Christmas products, guys. There is much more, much, much more Christmas products to add, and you can do it really, really easily using AutoDS, using the product importer automation. You can simply grab complete pages like you see this one. I've got the extension down here. All I have to do is click on it. Then I'll, I'll delete this because it's from the old one. Then I have to click on extract. Then all of the products that you see here on this page just got extracted in, into this small little extension. Then I'm going to export that CSV file. You can see that a CSV file was downloaded onto my computer. It has all of the product IDs that I'm seeing here. Then on the AutoDS system, I'm simply going to click on add products, click on multiple products, upload CSV, and import that CSV file right here. Once you put it there, it will simply add all of those products in just a few seconds to the draft section of your store. Once it's on the draft section, go ahead and start your optimization process. Start optimizing your products, the title, the description, the categories, the item location, the images, the item specifications. Finish up with that. And once you're done with the optimization process, which is everything that you're seeing here, simply import it to your stores. It'll go to the products page. And that means that they are live on your store and anyone can go in and start buying it. So it's that simple to add it to your stores. All you have to do is find what's in demand. So guys, Christmas is just one month away. Now is the time to start preparing your stores. That doesn't mean that you need to add, uh, remove all the products and sell only Christmas products, but do make a lot of room. 30, 40% of your store should be filled up with Christmas products. And then after Christmas is over, of course, remove them and replace them with other products that are not related to Christmas because you will not be selling Christmas products anymore but do save the data of what sold for you and keep that for next year so that next year you can already start with great winners while continuing testing the market for more and then you'll see how every year you are growing and growing with more sales and more profit so those are the top christmas products guys enjoy that start adding it to your stores and don't do it in the last minute don't do it a week from now don't do it two weeks from now because when christmas will finally arrive and you'll peak in sales really quick and then it'll drop right after Christmas, you'll kick yourself in the butt for not adding more products and testing it out some more. Okay, guys, let's start a little bit with your questions. So for those of you who haven't started asking questions yet, start doing it now on the chat and I will address each and every one of your guys' questions. All right, so let's begin. I am here. Hello, look for you. I am also here. My name is Liran from AutoDS. Pleasure to meet you. 
Mehub Alam need VA job. That's great to know, um, Mr. Alam. What I would suggest for you to do is to go to our community page on Facebook. We have a post, VAs for Hire. I'm not sure if I can find it now really quick, but just go to our uh, AutoDS community page, search for VA. You will find our post for hiring virtual assistants. And then you can just leave a post there that you are uh, looking for a job. And those who are looking to hire VAs will see your message and they will contact you. Okay, so good luck with that. Hi, if I live in UK, which eBay is more profitable for me, UK or USA eBay? Mihai, that's a great, great question. Thank you for asking that. Let me address it. If you live in the UK, first of all, we've got, uh, it's not posted yet. Uh, I think maybe eBay UK was posted already on our blog page. Let's have a quick look. Um, basically, we've got articles and videos coming out on, on the UK selling channel. So whether you want to sell on Shopify UK or eBay UK, or just see whatever's working in the UK, maybe UK suppliers, we've got content coming up. Let me see what we posted so far. I know that we've got UK dropshipping suppliers. Here we go. Top 11 UK dropshipping suppliers. Uh, we've got a lot more UK content coming up soon, but let me address your question. So if you live in the UK, then you should know that um let's let's talk about let, let's first of all talk about the selling channels so you want to sell on ebay um and you don't know if you want to do it on usa or uk so the two markets are different the main differences between the usa and the uk from all of the information that we have gathered is that in the us there is a much um there are more people who are buying uh population wise there are a lot more uh, online shoppers but on the other hand, there's also a lot more competition in the U.S. market. You can make sales both ways, okay? There is no black and white answer, but here are the differences. The demand is higher in the U.S., but the competition is also higher in the U.S. In the U.K., you also have a crazy amount of buyers and not as big as a competition. You don't have as many buyers in the U.S., but you also don't have as much of a competition as you do in the U.S. So if you are dropshipping um, from U.K. suppliers, then I definitely recommend to drop ship on eBay UK. And that's because you want to ship quickly to your customers. So if you're drop shipping from the UK to the UK, your domestic shipping is going to be really quick. Your buyers are going to get their items really quick. And that's pretty much it. That's what buyers are looking for. People want to get their items and they want to get them now. Nobody wants to wait more than two weeks. Nobody even wants to wait one week if they won't have to. But the maximum is two weeks. If your product takes more than two weeks to arrive, your buyers are not, are not going to be that happy, even if the product is in high quality. Your buyers would rather pay you more for each order and get their product simply much faster. So if you're drop shipping, uh, what's going to be more profitable for you? Drop shipping um, from the UK. If you live in the UK, sell on eBay UK, definitely. Now, your next question should be, what suppliers should you use? Because you need to know what, how many, what products you can sell from the UK domestically. What is your reach? How many, how many, I mean, uh, can you even sell the products that are in, in demand? Do you have a large selection of products? So this one should answer your next question. Let me share my screen. So this article, the top 11 UK dropshipping suppliers for your business. This one will point you out to the 11 best suppliers that we have found that are really helping UK dropshippers get their business started running and manage it really easily. So I'm going to click on the post content. And as you can see here, we've got all the suppliers. We even have them listed here. And you can simply click on it to go down to that specific section and read about it. But let's go over it really quick, okay? But I do want you to read this blog article. You have a full explanation of each supplier, each UK supplier, why they are good. But the quick list is Amazon UK. So you've got amazon.com. You also got amazon.co.uk. AliExpress has warehouses in uh, Great Britain, if I'm not mistaken. So then you can ship really quickly to the UK. They have warehouses in the UK. Go to AliExpress's dropshipping center, click on find products to sell, and on the ships from, choose UK. On the ships to, choose UK. And then they'll show you all of the trending products that you can buy from them and dropship it to the UK domestically with fast shipping. You've also got Banggood UK. So they've also got warehouses in the UK. 
Wayfair UK. Lots of people are using Wayfair because they're a very dropshipping friendly supplier, just like Banggood and AliExpress. You've also got Costway UK, another dropshipping friendly supplier. This one is also giving you 90 day returns for most of your uh, orders. So that makes it a lot better in terms of giving service to your customers. They also offer dropshipping agreements. And as I said, they're dropshipping friendly and there's no membership costs. You've also got Vita XL UK. You've got CJ Dropshipping UK, which also gives you a great solution for print on demand services when dropshipping. So if you guys haven't checked out CJ Dropshipping yet, I definitely recommend to do that. Next, you've also got eBay UK. So if you're dropshipping on eBay, then don't use eBay as a supplier. But if, for example, you're dropshipping on Shopify UK, you can use eBay UK as your supplier. So that's another one. You've also got Go Dropship. Not many have heard of them, but we also support them. You can import products with them. You can import products with all of the suppliers that I'm showing you guys and have price and stock automation so you can scale really, really easily using AutoDS. Next, you've also got AW Dropship with warehouses in the UK. You've also got Printify, which is another... Uh, um, um, sorry, marketplace that offers print on demand services for drop shippers. That's pretty much it. Those are the 11 best UK suppliers. So use that for your business. And I hope I answered your question well there, Mihai. All right, next question. Wendy, and I also saw that you wrote on our Facebook uh, uh, group. Yeah, I wanted to address that too. How do you charge 35 to 45% above Amazon or the place you're drop shipping from? No sales since a few of us added profitability. 50% eBay, 4% PayPal, 7% taxes, auto DS fees were at 25 plus percent with zero profit. So Wendy, first of all, product research, it's all about product research. Let me stop sharing my screen. So it's all about product research. First, you need to sell the right products, the products that are in demand. Don't worry about the competition, sell products, test products, see what works. That's how you're going to get your first few sales. Now, when you're testing products, test them at a high profit margin. Do not sell at low profit margins. You don't have to. Don't worry about how is the product selling for cheaper on Amazon. This has been working for years. The dropshipping business model is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. You've got marketplaces all around. Search for one product on Google and you won't only find it on Amazon. You'll find it on many selling channels for many different prices. At the end of the day, no buyer or 99.7% of buyers are not going to search for your product on Amazon after they buy it from you, okay? They're, they're going to get their product. I got what I ordered. I'm happy with what I ordered. Think about you as a buyer. I'm sure that you've bought things online before and you've received your packages. After you received your packages, did you go to AliExpress, Alibaba, uh, Shopify, eBay, Amazon and try to find it for cheaper? No, you got the product. You were happy that you got it. And that's what it's all about. That's a dropshipping business model. Most of the customers simply do not care. So first of all, how do you charge 35 to 45% above Amazon? I'm personally doing that for years and it's working quite well. So don't worry about the how, just do it. And once you take action and you do it and you'll see that people will start to buy, that will simply answer your question. How do people do it? They simply don't know or don't care what's going on on Amazon because they decided to buy from your store. They saw the product from your store and that is what matters. Now, many products that you're going to sell, when I talk about product research and the importance of, of product research, many of the products that you sell are going to be products that it's hard to put a, a price point on it. So when you get to those niches, when you get to those categories and those products, you can, you'll see that, you, let's say it's sold on Amazon for $20, but you can also, you know, people also buy this product for $35, for $40, so there's no problem with that. Remember one thing. Most of the products you're seeing on Amazon are coming from Alibaba and you'll also find them on AliExpress. Um, you simply have an Amazon seller who creates something using Alibaba suppliers. They bring it to Amazon. They start FBA on it, uh, fulfilled by Amazon and Amazon simply takes care of their fulfillment process. So they buy it really cheap on Alibaba. They pay so many expenses along the way. So they have to jack up the prices. So remember that whatever you're selling, you're selling price on, on eBay it already passed a few price increases from the manufacturer to Amazon FBA to eBay. And that's how the market works. You'll always find cheaper prices and more expensive prices on the same products. Um, yeah, so your break even, that, that's right. eBay is about 15%, uh, especially for international sellers. 4% PayPal, if you're still using PayPal, if you're using Payoneer, then you can pretty much waive that fee. 
7% taxes. It can even be up to 10%. That's true. We're at 25% with zero profit. You are not at zero profit. Do not sell at 25% profit. Sell more than that. But it also depends on what you set your break even. So your break even needs to be about, let's say, my personal break even is um, 13%, even though it's not true because you know I'm paying taxes after and all of that. Then I add another 15% profit margin, and then I'm always profiting anywhere between 35, 40 something percent. So just try it out. Don't, don't be afraid to dive in and raise your profit margins. All righty, next question. Hi, Liron. Hi, E. Does AutoDS have a maximum amount of products that it can monitor? No, absolutely not. So uh, let me know which selling channel you're drop, your drop shipping on, E, and I'll even help you out some more. But there are definitely no limits. And if you have a no limit account, then I'm guessing you're either drop shipping on Shopify or on the Facebook Marketplace. And good luck with that. Let me know how it goes. Next question. Do you have to wait five days to get paid on Facebook maroons? What's a maroon? So, hey, Stephen Graham. Um, on Facebook Marketplace, once you provide tracking information, then uh, Facebook will most likely give you your payout in the next day or two. It shouldn't take longer than that. But if you are not using um, UPS, USPS, or FedEx tracking numbers, then it can take eBay, uh, Facebook, sorry, up to even a couple of weeks to send out your payout. So try using suppliers who offer UPS, USPS, and FedEx uh, tracking numbers. By the way, guys, speaking of tracking numbers, did you guys know that if your account is flagged on eBay, you can now unflag it using AutoDS's Equiline service? I don't know if you guys heard about this. Let me show it to you really quick. So eBay has flagged accounts that ship out their products from when you have a listing on your eBay uh, on your eBay store inside the product listing, you have a zip code. And when eBay sees that you are shipping from a different, that the tracking numbers that you're providing are different. Let me stop sharing my screen just for the explanation. For anyone drop shipping from Amazon to eBay, eBay will flag your account when they see that you have a, um, a zip code inside your item listing. And when you're supplying a tracking number, they see that the product is coming from a different zip code. Then eBay says, okay, this seller is lying about his item location. He's probably drop shipping from all kinds of retailers. So we're just going to flag his account. And then he'll have to list a lot more listings to get sales. So now there's finally a fix for it using the AutoDS auto ordering system. Let me show you how it works. So now we've paired up with Aqualine. I'm in the AutoDS settings page. And of course, you have to have the auto orders uh, on your plans and add ons. Then in the settings, in the uh, order settings over here, make sure that you've got your eBay store here. So let's go with eBay USA and using the Amazon US supplier. Here you see on the tracking conversion, I have another option. We used to have tra um, uh, converting it to Blue Care Express, which is still there. But now you also have convert all tracking numbers to Aqualine. So now every tracking number, every time you get a tracking number, AutoDS can convert it to Aqualine using the zip code that you have here on the lister setting. So you have your default zip code. If I'm using the Aqualine's uh, tracking conversions, every time I get a tracking number, eBay will see that it's coming up from this zip code. Then all you have to do is reach out to eBay, let them know, hey, I see that my account is flagged because of the item location policy, but I'm not breaching that policy. Check out my last orders, see that I am shipping from the same item location specified in my listings. Then they'll have a representative check it. And when the eBay representative sees it, then they will unflag your account. We've tested it on many accounts. We saw that it works and we enabled this feature. So enjoy it, guys. Anyone who's got flagged, start working on unflagging your accounts right now with Aqualine. All right, let's get back to the question. I'm sorry, I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah, five days to get paid. So I answered that. Let's move on to the next one. Yes, but when the 25% just covers fees, I answered your question. Do what I said. Let me know how that went for you. I'm pretty sure that you'll be proud. Hi, I have a high seller limit on eBay, 50,000 items. Good job, Sarah. Old account. I sold two items, and then they put my payments on hold after paying me for the two items. Do you think my account will get shut down? No, but just take the right action, Sarah. You have a very good um, asset right here with an eBay seller account with 50,000 uh, in limits. So you just you just sold your uh, your first two items. I'm guessing it's your first two items. Um, 
provide tracking information and make sure that the tracking information is trackable. Once you upload a tracking number and eBay supports that tracking number and they see that you deliver promptly to your buyers according to the selling policies that, that, that you had in your listings, then eBay will not put your payouts on hold. It's only something that they do on beginner seller accounts who just started selling no matter how many limits you had. So please upload tracking number. Do not jeopardize this account. It's worth a lot of money. It's a heck of an asset today. Take care of your account and let me know if you have any questions. I will definitely help you out and make sure that your account never gets suspended. Sarah, my account is on hold too for the same reason. They said they will release my funds after one week. Okay, so Mihai, is your eBay account also new? Because I have zero holds on my account. I've been selling on eBay for the last almost five years now. Uh, I do know that on beginner accounts, they have holds. Even before uh, partnering with Payoneer, when we were working with PayPal, we still had this hold. It, it's called the PayPal gel. Search for it on Google and you'll see what I mean. But I never actually had that problem because I was always uh, you know, very customer oriented and uploading my tracking numbers on time, replying to my customers, being responsive to cases and refunding customers when I need to. Uh, that's about, that should be about three to 4% of your business. So it doesn't really matter as long as you've got the long-term sustainability. So definitely take care of your accounts, guys. Let me know what questions you have. Amazon price is too high. So how do I get competition on eBay? So I already answered that question, SLBS. Don't worry about Amazon's prices. If the pro maybe, maybe that specific seller is not a good seller. He's selling the product for too high. But look for other sellers that have high reviews, that have lots of sales, because their prices are probably a lot better than what you're talking about. And once you find, a, of course, a supplier with a good product, with a good price, you can simply list it on eBay, and you will see that the sales will roll in if the product is in demand. The price matters, but not as much as you guys think. All right, next question. Hi, I'm from Nepal and I'm new. My problem is I cannot set up eBay Seller Hub account. Hi, anything. So um, I'm not sure why you're having this problem. Let me know what's, what's, what's the problem. You have to just sign up with eBay. And then on the top bar, click on sell because you want to start selling. Then they'll walk you through the process of manually listing your first item. I suggest to upload a first product from your home. So just let eBay know that you want to get rid of some stuff that you have laying around the house upload some products that you have from home, upgrade your limits a few times, and then you can easily start drop shipping and it shouldn't be any problem at all. You can start drop shipping also right from the start, but you may deal with temporary suspensions that you'll have to call eBay and deal with later, which is something that more experienced eBay sellers know how to handle. Okay, next question. Hello, hello, look for you. How's it going? Do you have any questions for me today? Next question. Go Florence. Advice on how to effectively ask eBay to increase selling limits. Yeah, definitely. Call eBay and let them know, hello, I would like to increase my selling limits. I have a lot more items that I need to get rid of. Um, my customer service is on point. As you can see, I'm uh, uh, shipping out all of my products on time. Uh, please uh, increase my limits and they will get back to you with an answer. But uh, there's also a few ways to do it. And even if you get a no for whatever reason, you guys will notice that the more you talk to eBay, the more representatives that you will talk to, and each one has different authorities. So it's kind of randomized. Sometimes you guys are going to put up with representatives that tell you, I cannot upgrade your limits at this point. Uh, sometimes they'll give you a reason, and so it'll help you with your next call. Sometimes they won't give you a reason, but all you have to do is keep retrying if you, if they, if you don't make it the first time, and you will see that it works. And to help you out with that even more, so what I suggest to do, uh, there's, there's different methods of reaching out to eBay. So head to autods.com and click on our dropshipping blog right here in the resources or autods.com slash blog. And here we have a pinned article on eBay selling limits, how to check, get around, and increase eBay seller limits. Click on that. And there I guided you through each and every step that you need to take and the many different ways of also reaching out to eBay. You can also reach out to them by phone. You can reach out to them by chat. You can reach out to them by mail. My personal suggestion is phone. If your English is not so well or you don't have confidence with it, then go with chat uh, and leave the mail as the last uh, priority. But anyway, here in this article, you're going to understand how eBay selling limits work in the first place, where you can see you find your eBay limits if you don't know where they are, what to know before increasing your eBay selling limits. And this is important. 
If you want to increase your eBay selling limits, go Florence. What you want to do is make sure first that your limits are full. Make sure that your limits are in the red zone. Then make sure that you don't have any open returns or replacements. Otherwise, the eBay representative will tell you, okay, see that you have an open case. Please take care of all your customers and get back to us after. So this is a, a lot of after a lot of trial and error. Next, also make sure that your seller level is in good standing. So make sure that you're above standard. If you're below standard, eBay will say, hey, get your account up and running better. Give better customer service. Get above standard and get back to us. Then you also want to make sure that your items are in stock. Now, this only uh, applies if you don't have a lot of uh, limits. For example, if you have 10 or 50 limits and you want to raise those limits, you want to make sure that those products are in stock because if half of them are not in stock, eBay is going to tell you, you don't need more selling limits. Just delete what you don't have in stock and add more products. Uh, oops, accidentally went down too much. Let's go back to where we were. No open cases, they're living in good standing. And the last one, well, you don't really need a verified PayPal account anymore because now today you have Payoneer, but also make sure that your Payoneer account is active. It's connected to eBay, uh, but eBay won't let you sell without it today anyway. So that one goes without saying. Then how to increase eBay selling limits. So let's go over it real quick. You've got the automatic method, which is what works best for dropshippers who are selling their products really well. You'll get this email. I showed my screenshot example that I got from one of eBay's uh, mails. So highly Ron, congratulations. You're doing a great job selling on eBay and we've noticed. How would you like to list even more? Now you can. Here's how much you can list this month. They raised me in this specific um, uh, selling limit increase from 370 items to 710. So they pretty much almost doubled that. And from 9,500 to 18,500. So almost pretty much doubled that. Pretty much gave me a 50% increase from here, 45%, something like that. So when you're selling well on eBay, you're going to get automatic limit uh, increase. And if you're, and if that doesn't happen, then what you want to do is request to list more. You'll have this option below your limit. So click on that. But once again, make sure that this green line and this orange line, make sure that they are in the red over here. Otherwise, eBay will tell you, you don't need to rate your limits because you still have open limits. Then you have the ways to contact eBay. So you can contact them through the phone. Here's how to do it. You have an explanation of how to get to them by the phone. The next is getting them by mail and by chat. My personal suggestion, like I said, start with the phone. If that doesn't work, go with the chat, then go with the mail. What to do if you're not eligible for a limit increase? So go through all those steps and make sure that you answered every, that, you're, that you're eligible for a limit upgrade with all the things that I showed on top. Anyway, I'm not going to get into this too much. You have all of the answers in this article. Um, I think there's also a video for it. I'm not sure. No, there isn't. But definitely read the article. It'll help you out more. So go, Florence. I hope I answered your question there. Let's move on. I'm going to start speed reading it through because we got 17 minutes for the live. I live in Germany, drop shipping from China to USA. Okay, look for you. Is the best solution for me? You mean what is the best solution? If you live in Germany, drop shipping from China to USA. Um, so first of all, look for Chinese suppliers who ship quickly from China to USA. Okay, because um nobody wants to get their products in more than two weeks um it's not practical especially not nowadays where you've got warehouses all around the world and the fast shipping all around the world so make sure that you're finding chinese suppliers who ship quickly who have a fast delivery date that's shown on aliexpress or whatever supplier you're using and also read seller reviews and see his seller rating to make sure that he really ships his products quickly and on time and i would also suggest to look for other suppliers not just from china I know that you're thinking, oh, it's from China, so everything's going to be so cheap. But on the other hand, your customers are going to get mad for not getting their products on time. So make sure that you're doing it correctly. Please share a list of eBay sensitive words, phrases, except gun, drugs, weapon, those obvious ones. I'm tired of error. This item cannot be listed. The title or description may contain improper words. Okay, so that's a great question, uh, pig, egg, pig Egg Pal. Um, you don't need a list of eBay sensitive words. Um, if there's anything that's bothering you from being uploaded, then use that as eBay sensitive words. Like, for example, I block list words that have Amazon in it, um, that have uh, email addresses, phone numbers, things like that. Um, but to answer your question, even if you get that Vero error, and it's good that you are uh, focusing on, on Vero and trying to avoid those products, there some errors are like small errors. Like, let's say you want to you want to sell. Uh, a case for a Samsung Galaxy, and the creator of the case, the manufacturer, is not Samsung. So you won't write in your title 
uh, Samsung Galaxy case because the buyer would think that Samsung is the manufacturer. But if you're going to write a phone case for Samsung Galaxy, then they won't think that the manufacturer is Samsung because you're saying it's for him and not from him. So this is one way. So if, if, if the Vero error is telling you you cannot sell Samsung, you can still override it because you're not selling Samsung. You're selling a prop for Samsung from a third party seller. Um, so always look at what the error means, what it's telling you. Sometimes it can tell you something like, uh, I don't know, you have the word cup in your listing and there is a manufacturer called cup who's patenting his products, but you can still sell cups, right? So you have to use a little bit of logic, but if you do see that the Vero is in the manufacturer, then you do have to, you should just delete that listing because that means that someone got Vero on it in the past and you know they dealt through the trouble and you want to avoid making that same mistake i hope i answered your question there all right next which best supplier for germany to usa from germany to usa look for you that's a great question germany suppliers i haven't looked into germany suppliers too much that's a great content suggestion guys if you have suggestions for things that you haven't seen in auto ds yet please have a look at what i'm about to show you so what you need to do is head to the auto ds platform and here you, there's this wheel. I don't know if you guys can see it on the top right. There's a wheel button. Click on it. Then click here on feature request. And here you can make a request for seeing new features, um, getting new, uh, reading new content, uh, upgrading existing features. You can simply upvote for whatever you want. And as you see, people here have already uh, created all kinds of votes on all kinds of features or importing features order features, product management, um, and even, where is it, where is it, where is it, settings, dashboard, products. I, I can't see the, um, to make a request for buyer's customer support, mobile app. I don't see for creating content requests, but it should also, also uh, be here. You can simply create a new, um, you can simply create here a new uh, vote. So say, for example, first search for it. So for example, let me search. Let me get rid of this menu. Let's search for the word Germany. Add fulfilled by AutoDS service for Amazon.de to eBay Germany. So this is already starting to get uh, voted for. People want this. And as you see here, people are writing, this feature is urgently needed. This feature would be awesome. Amazon is banning our accounts. The service would be great. And for those of you who don't know, don't know it's already working pretty well on Amazon US. Uh, but yeah, to answer your question first, make a vote for it that you want a content request on this next amazon.de is a great example. And if you're looking for suppliers also head over to our suppliers page. So you can click here on suppliers on the top or just head to autodesk.com slash suppliers. Then here on the region, click on Germany. And here you can see all the suppliers that you can work with, with us, with, with AutoDS, and, you know, still have price monitoring, stock monitoring and uh, quick product importing so you can easily manage your business from here. And as you can see, you can use Amazon, eBay, and Costway Germany. So you can use these suppliers, not eBay, because you're drop shipping to eBay, right? Yeah. So use Amazon or Costway. That's already a, a great start. Customers don't search too. What do you mean? Oh, you mean about um, if you're buying a product, if a customer is buying a product from you, and then he's going to search for it someplace else. No, I just told you to think of yourself in as, as an example, but customers don't do it uh, either. So, uh, Wendy, my best advice for you is to just try. Don't think of don't think of reasons why it won't work. You need to try it out. Dip your feet in the water, and once you see that it will start to work, your questions will turn into uh, you know the next level of questions because now you're already selling, you're profiting, and your next question is probably going to be. How can I scale more and profit more than what I am today? So I just suggest to start and don't think about um, the profit margins or if the buyer is going to know where you bought it from because this is not very, it's not a repetitive case in the dropshipping field. That was very helpful. Thank you. You're definitely welcome, Mihai. I'm still sharing my screen. How do I tell if a product supplier is a real source supplier or just another dropshipper? Also, how to prevent other dropshippers dropshipping from me? Let me let me start with the with the last with the second question. If a dropshipper is dropshipping from you, then he's selling it at a higher price and he's buying it from you. So you're making more sales. 
Now I've seen, uh, I'll take it up on another level. I've seen people on Amazon, Amazon sellers writing in Amazon seller central uh, forums. Hey guys, I just listed my product and I'm getting sales. I'm profiting. Everything is great. But I also see that a lot of people are selling my product for a higher price and they're buying it from me. And then, and what should I do about it? Sh should I, should I tell, you know, the selling channel, should I tell eBay that they're doing it? And then they have other sellers who are replying to them saying, why would you do something like that? He's helping you get more sales. What do you care if they're drop shipping from you or not? If you're making more sales and you're making more profit, that really shouldn't matter for you unless you have a problem with making more sales and more profit. But at the end of the day, if you're drop shipping from someone and someone is drop shipping from you and I have a case like that, I have one buyer that I see on my auto DS account and I'm happy to see the sales every time from him. I can't find him on any other selling platform. I don't know where he's selling it, but many of my products, he's reselling it and he's always buying from me. I see the same buyer username and he's buying the expensive products. I, I, I wish I could find his store and learn from his uh, business practices, but I'm definitely happy to see that. And I've also reached out to him on eBay and I tried to ask him, what other products do you want me to add to my store? I'll help you get more sales. Unfortunately, he's not being very responsive. That's probably because I'm also sending him a lot of automatic messages from AutoDS every time I make a sale to get more feedback. So he probably thinks it's another one of those messages. But you should definitely be happy if something like that is happening for you. How could I tell if a supplier is a real source supplier or just another drop shipper? If you're drop shipping from uh, marketplaces like Amazon, uh, from suppliers like Amazon and so forth, it's, it's sellers. It's not drop shippers, especially if it's fulfilled by Amazon. Uh, but once again, it doesn't matter as long as you're making sales, if you're selling uh, great products. I can't use Payoneer to pay AutoDS. Yeah, you can today, Wendy. Let me show you how. I'll share my screen. So I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, I, I have re I'm have releasing feature release videos on our YouTube channel. So you guys should stay updated on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to always know when a new update is coming out. And I also made a video updating about this specific uh, uh, question about using Payoneer to pay AutoDS. So if you look over here, we have a feature request, uh, a feature release video. Uh, there've been all, there's already a lot of videos that were uploaded since then. Uh, so what you wanna do is head over to AutoDS. Where are we? Here we are. Then click on settings. And in account and billing, you can change the PayPal payment method. You see right here, you've got a Payoneer um, option here too. So this is newly added and sorry for my slow internet connection, but of course you can use a credit card, you can use PayPal, and you can also use Payoneer. So just click on checkout with Payoneer, it'll make the API connection to your Payoneer account. And then even if you, uh, it, it's not just for paying for your subscription and for your plans and add-ons, but also on the auto ordering system, if you want to buy credits, of course, load balance, you guys know that you can load balance with Payoneer, but you can also buy credits. It'll charge your Payoneer account. So if you're making money through Payoneer, you can now spend your money through Payoneer and it'll make everything pretty much easier for you, Wendy. All right. I need to start moving quick, really, really quick. Blessings, everyone. I'm so thankful for finding AutoDS. Nice. I was on another platform and I changed to this one and I'm totally 100% satisfied with AutoDS. I'm getting sales and I'm totally happy. Crown of Glory Beauty Supply. I hope it's not the name of your store because now everyone's going to see what products you are selling. Thank you for the compliments. I'm really happy to hear about that. Uh, usually we're, uh, you know, getting positive feedback is always something nice. Uh, most people who have positive feedback, they usually do not share it. It's usually the other way around. So thank you. Anyone else having a good time? Let me know. AutoDS gets to use the float. Will they be setting up accounts so we can save four percent? Sorry, Wendy, I didn't understand that one. When can AutoDS import items from AliExpress to Amazon? They can. Oh, to the Amazon selling market. Are you planning to add that feature in the future? Yeah, Hamidi. Actually, this year we're adding Amazon as a selling channel, so stay tuned for that. Also, Wix. How can we hunt products specifically for Christmas using AutoDS as we do not have the choice of selecting category in AutoDS? Great question. I forgot to show that to you guys. Let me share my screen. Last minutes of the live. Okay. So you guys know that we have a new feature, the product research feature. So I'm just going to click on that. And here you guys can easily find products. You don't have to head over to Amazon, to AliExpress. You can simply get them all from here. So here you have all kinds of products that are hot and trending. 
What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on holiday products. And we're always going to prepare you guys with the best products from our database. And of course, we're always going to add more. And here it should start preparing you for Christmas. Where are those Christmas products? Let's make it easier. I'm going to search for Christmas right up here. Now check this out. All of these Christmas products. You can search for Christmas trees, Christmas lights. And then all you have to do is hover over the product and click on import product. Now this is 34 business days. That's taking too much. But check out this Christmas statue right here. Shipping time, two business days. Item cost $30. You can flip it for $50. Click on import product and it'll import your store right away. So that should answer your question there. And I'm sorry, I have to move really fast to answer all of you guys. When requesting increased limits on eBay, customer service asked me, what's the name of my suppliers? How do I answer? Tell them that you are using wholesale suppliers. You can even give a couple of names of wholesale suppliers. And they may even uh, um, ask you for invoices from your suppliers. You can also give them those invoices. Even if you're drop shipping from Amazon, I know you're weary about this, but we also also show them Amazon invoices and it passed, it worked. Um, don't be afraid to jump in, guys. They're not going to suspend you if they see that you're selling from Amazon. They're going to suspend you if you're not handling your cases, if you are not uh, uh, handling customer service correctly, if you're not uploading tracking numbers on time. Okay, they're not going to suspend you because you're dropshipping from Amazon. I uploaded my tracking numbers both times right away. I only took one day or same day. Sarah, is that the question about getting payments from Facebook? Oh, you should receive the payouts already. Uh, but contact Facebook support if not. Hi, everyone. Welcome back again. Hi, Omar. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. I remember you from every one of my lives. What is a great way to get more sales on Facebook Marketplace? Omar, list more. List more. If your products are not selling on Facebook Marketplace, list more. But first, tell me that you, are, um, that you have shipping options. If you don't have shipping options, you don't live in the United States, you're not going to be making much sales on the Facebook Marketplace. But if you are, keep searching bestsellers. You will start to sell. Believe me on that. Uh, by the way, guys, I have an interview coming up soon on our YouTube channel with another Facebook Marketplace dropshipper who's grossing in over $16,000, $17,000 in clean profit every month, only dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace, okay? I'm going to have to cancel the service. There's more support dealing with, there's more support dealing with eBay. They answer. I don't know what you're talking about, but I wish you the best of luck. And if you need any help, I'm here. What is the best way to increase my selling limits? I answered that in this live. Um, there's also a blog channel about, uh, we have a blog article about it, but watch this live. I just answered that and I went through the whole process of increasing your limits. Is it possible to maintain one business day handling time with Amazon Prime shipping in order to be qualified for a top rated plus seller and get 10% final fee discount? You're going to have a hard time with that because not every seller is going to ship out within one business day and then you'll have more late tracking, more late tracking, more late tracking on your eBay account and then you can go below standard and eventually lose your account. So I wouldn't put my money on that. I have already out of this account. I want to know if I can buy this sell for the Black Friday, have my cancel my account and open a new one. No, look for you. Please reach out to your to our support. Tell them that you want the Black Friday deal. They'll send you the link. Hi, I want the listing limit on the Facebook Marketplace platform. Hi, E, no limits. I knew that you were talking about that platform from your previous question. Um, start listing for sure. But only if you have shipping options, if you live in the U.S. Have you heard of anyone getting blocked or not able to list more aggressive listing on Facebook? Nope. Getting blocked, yes, but temporarily. And then he uh, unsuspended his account. You will you learned that from the interview that I just talked about that we will uh, post on our, on our YouTube channel. Even though our editorial is cool, I think that it's only going to be posted in January. But it's already recorded. It's already done. You're going to learn a lot from it. Where is your customers? Why is your customer service so horrible? It's, it's actually not, David. I, I'm, a, I'm a customer in AutoDS. I put up with customer service too. And I think that they're actually doing a great job. Of course, there's always parts where you know you think you could get better. The reply wasn't as fast or wasn't as convenient as you wanted it to be. But you've got a whole department on customer service. And keep giving it a try. I, 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 I'm sure that if you give it another try, you'll have a different experience. Can you make a video on how to sell from US to Germany? Yes, yeah, so I see that a lot of uh, I see a lot of requests on Germany, guys. Please head over to our Upvote internal system, like I showed you, using that wheel on the top right. Vote for Germany, and I will upload more content or content, new content about Germany. But thank you for the tips, guys. I will definitely keep that uh, taken into consideration. That's wonderful, Iran. And I will try to I, I will try to avoid dropshipping brand new high ticket electronics, for example, like a brand new TV. Is that always clear? Yes. Don't drop ship 
high, uh, especially not if you're in the beginning. If you have a seasoned account that's been selling for months, no problem. But don't sell those products right away. Ooh, I have to finish this. I have to finish this up. So on Facebook orders, it doesn't show up on AutoDS dashboard. Will you guys add that or working on it? Yeah, working on it. You, you, working on it, you're right. It, it needs to also show up on the dashboard. Your orders, your profit, definitely working on it. Uh, also, search for it on Upvote. You'll see that it's there in the internal voting system. Can you please help me provoke? Promote voting for this high demanding feature request below. Yeah, of course. Tell me if you started, if you created the request, and I will upload it for you. I'll tell the bank not to worry about profit margins and wait for, for mortgage payment. Wendy, start drop shipping, uh, increase your profit margins. Um, if you're if if you need to sell online to pay for your mortgage, and I don't think you you did it the right way. First, take care of your personal finances. Dropshipping should start as a side hustle, as a money maker on the side. Once you start making money from it, you'll learn how you can make more money from it. Don't start pessimistic in this uh, field. Um, start optimistic. Know that thousands of people are doing it and they'll do it with you or without you. You can definitely join the train and you can definitely succeed in this. You can believe in yourself a little bit more. Um, but if you are if you're if you need money right now and really quick you know to pay for your bills for your mortgage get a normal day job and on the side start your drop shipping business give it two to three hours every night and in time if you are serious about it you will succeed about you will succeed there is no joke there no lying no personal interest that's great what uh, this great what type of christmas products that you're selling i went over in the beginning of this video omar you you joined this live a little bit late watch it right after this video and you will see Thanks, I set up Pioneer. You're welcome, Wendy. I'm glad that you're taking your first steps. Um, of course, let me know what other problems you're having, and I will I will help you not in this live, but at least in the next one. Okay, so stay tuned. Currently over 2,000 items. Nice, 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 Rich. But what's your question? Okay, guys, last one for today. Facebook is completely strict. They told you that you're not allowed to have multiple accounts at all. Is that also clear omar i don't i don't see a reason for you to have multiple facebook accounts but on the interview i interviewed someone who has two facebook uh, accounts you will see that interview soon on our youtube channel i asked him why do you have two accounts he's using one account that's selling well and the other account for testing products to sell but you don't even have to do that you can do it under the same account it's just sometimes easier to keep track what you're testing and what you're keeping permanently in your store uh, but start off with only one star don't play around with facebook's uh, uh, strict uh, rules too much. Uh, give them what they want so that you'll have a seasoned account. Then you can pretty much do whatever you want, pretty much like eBay. Okay, guys, that pretty much wraps up this ninth live Q&A for you. I hope that I helped you guys also prepare your stores for Christmas. Use the product research feature integrated internally in the AutoDS system to easily import products. Use your suppliers. I wish you guys the best of luck. I always like helping you guys. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next live. Good luck with Christmas, guys. Take care.